Welcome back. Next up for the Cats, back here at CN Center to take on another Eastern Division opponent. The Swift Current Broncos making their bi-yearly visit. Now the Broncos coming in, fighting for eighth place, currently setting in a tie with three other teams in the Eastern Conference. And the Broncos, one of the bigger teams the Cougars have faced this year. Three players coming at six foot four, another three at six foot five. Again, the Cats going with a youthful lineup as they would have two 15-year-old call-ups. Joining them, Brad Morrison and Jansen Harkins. Dan Dale lost it to Dan Gibb. There's Brad Morrison holding it in. Morrison into the slot. Low shot goes wide. Puck bounced out in front through the feet of Morrison. He nearly had a gift. Held in by the Cougars. And a backhand chance. Gibb keeping it in at the right wing point now. Held in by He's in front of tip by Forsberg. And a save made by Milan. What a play, but a better save. Left wing side. Puck gets deep for Moser. Draw pass for Lundell on the left wing. He's checked, and now Burke is going to race out shorthanded. One on two, Burke cuts to the middle, trying to get through one more. Burke on a backhand, a try, and a pad save made as the fans applaud Burke shorthanded. Here come the Broncos, Coda Gordon. Checked by Harkins on the back check. Now Colby Cave with it in the corner. Far side, Cave to the side. Gordon walks all the way in front. Oh, what a stop by Zeroni. He got his right pad out. And a big time stop keeps this game at 0-0. And the Cougars and Broncos are still scoreless. Adam Lowry and Dan Gibb. Gibb lost a stick. Now a low shot off the post. Two posts. Another post. Oh my, how did that puck stay out? Three on two for the Cougars now. Pachuro right wing, Hill center. Erickson backhand blocker it away. That just missed two. Oh boy. Two goal posts by the Swift Current Broncos. The only reason why this game is still tied. And now the Cougars bring it back. Erickson down the left wing side, a draw pass. Harkins trying a return pass. Oh, what a stop by Island off Pachuro. I, I think he found on it actually. He hit it forward but knocked it backwards uh, at the same time. What a play there by Harkins and by Erickson and Pachuro just about scored. Gordon to catch. Hard up the middle to catch to McKidiak left wing side. His high shot missed the target. And neither team able to have much success hitting the goal now, but Graham Black trying to get through the D. Black is in! Oh. Zeroni got just enough of it with his glove. And then Gibb cleared. And then a backhand chance for Buse. Brett Zeroni having a great game as he makes another huge save off the speedy Graham Black. Luck really hasn't yeah. been there tonight for the Cougars. You're absolutely right as Bryson Martin will try a long shot that Zeroni will blocker away. Joe Carvello. Check that. Yari Erickson taking it for a skate. Actually it's to, to catch. 19. Behind the goal. Now at the side. McKidiak nicely behind the goal trying to center it. He'll move to the right wing side. McKidiak. Good pass to the left point for Graywall. That one's going to bounce in front and Fontaine robbed in front by Milan. Best Cougars chance of the night right there. Fontaine's Face off one by the Cougars in their defensive zone off an icing gray wall tripped up right in front of the referee and again there's nothing Cole. Riem at the point, his shot through Zeroni, stopped it and then found the bouncing puck in the air and gloved it down and the fans applaud his effort as that was a tricky save that Zeroni stayed with. Eight minutes to go, second period, we are scoreless. And now Scarlett, a nice move, trying to cut through his cave, left wing for Lowry, a high shot and Zeroni got enough of it to keep it out. Back comes Zach Pachuro, good speed. Chipping it off the wall as Jansen Harkins gives chase. Hetherington playing it around the wall for Lowry. Stolen, Harkins, slot area, pass. Erickson oh. backhand and a pad save made by Milan as Harkins set up Erickson and a good chance to score. And give now ahead for Harkins. Harkins got the puck, but Swift Curran had forced a lot of turnovers and now they've got a two on one as Lowry down the right wing side, waiting, shooting, stopped by Zeroni. Shot from Scarlett, blocked, losing a stick on the play was Alex Forsberg. Forsberg being reunited here with Seawalk and Burke. Forsberg trying to lift up the stick as a pass is intercepted by the Broncos and this swift current forecheck has given the Cougars fits all night. Dalton Seawalk, return pass behind the net. Good patience there by the Cougars as Graywall will chip it ahead. Now a pass to the right wing side. Seawalk had a chance to bring it in, but Hetherington lined him up. And now here comes big Adam Lowry, trying to go wide on Gibb. Lowry trying to center. Forsberg took away. Puck is in the feet now of Seawalk. Freed by the Broncos. They score. It's Lowry. 
Puck was in the feet of Seawalk. No one was able to find it, and it's freed by Lund to Lowry in front, and Swift Current leads 1-0. Pachuro wins the draw for the Cougars, and a high shoot in off the glass. Reese Scarlett shoots it around, held in at the line, shot from the point, is deflected wide. Harkins a pass! And at the side, Pachuro is robbed. That's a good look there for the Cougars, and Harkins nearly sets up Pachuro, who is robbed. Off the wall, Levi Buse keeping play in to the Cougar and Milcrease lost it at the side. Black centers, they score. A turnover behind the Cougars goal. Black found it and threaded it in front and there was Ryan Moser to tap it home. Just like that, it's two nothing for the Swift Current Bronco. Cougars win a face off and now it's Michael Milcrease who plays it up to the right wing. Graywall and Milkreis playing together here. Quick glance to the bench, seeing if Rosinskis is still on the bench, but. Yeah, he's stuck in the middle. Now a turnover forced by the Cougars. Haynes gets a chance in front and didn't get all of it, but Haynes and Erickson both whacking away at it. And once again, we've got a bit of a scrum in front of the Swift Current goal, but Prince George Cougars now going into the net with a little urgency. Joe Carvello is shot towards the crowd in front. Now a centering effort, Earhart jamming away at it. Milan the save, rebound. Where is it? It's loose in front. Broncos sprawling to try and find it. The time expires. And the swift current Broncos are going to skate to a 2-0 victory. Here in Prince George, the final shots on goal are 35-17. Mm-hmm. Both goals from swift current coming in the third. And the Prince George Cougars fall to 10, 17, 1, and 3. Well, we had trouble, uh, you know, uh, we didn't do a good job with dumping pucks, and they were easy breakouts for them. And then when we had a chance to make some good plays, uh, we, didn't, we didn't get pucks deep enough or we didn't do stuff. So, that you know, they transitioned off, uh, transitioned on us and got lots of pucks in that. And obviously our goaltender was excellent for the first, uh, actually for the whole game. Um, you know, we just gave them a couple goals in the third there that are, are not, obviously not great goals. Uh, you know, Millie bats the one down right in front to the guy. Um, so it's a tough, tough goal to give up, but certainly, you know, we didn't do a lot to create and compete in some of the areas that we needed to do. And, you know, when you do that against a team that's a, a bigger, kind of stronger team, uh, you're going to have tough, uh, you're going to have a tough night. Another shutout loss for the Cougars, their seventh of the season and fourth here at CN Center. Back with Carson Bolduc in a chat with 50-year-old Jansen Harkins after the break.